Hello everyone and welcome back to APM Academy. In today's video, we will be going over how to move out tenants properly within Appfolio. There's two common areas where people will make mistakes when handling move outs. First will be they will either go down to this section and hit hide tenant and say tenants moved out, don't need them in my system anymore. Or the second route they'll do is they'll say, okay, the tenant has given us notice, they're moving out on this date. Let me go ahead and enter it here and they'll click in it on the tenant status box and put all the information in here. That is one way of doing it. However, you will not be able to generate a disposition letter for your tenants if you do move them out that way. And you will have to do a lot more manual labor than you will want to spend time on during the move out. The best way to move out your tenants within Appfolio is to go ahead and utilize this task on the right hand side, move out tenants. You do have the option as well if you do have a unit where students maybe be housing. Student housing is the most common one where you'll move out one tenant at a time. But in this instance, we are gonna move out both tenants, both Bilbo and Frodo from Rivendell Apartments. So we'll click our task. Upon here, this is where on dates and proration, just like that tenant status box, this is where you will want to go ahead and enter all that information. So we'll say notice date, move out reason, they, they missed the Shire, so they're wanting to move back to the Shire. So the location wasn't ideal for them in Rivendell. They move out date, you can select this here. Then you can select when your unit availability date will be. Then you can hit save. And now that section is complete. The next section in the move out process is to make sure that you have a correct forwarding address for their security deposit refund, if applicable. So we'll go here, then you will enter their forwarding address as provided by the tenant. Once you receive that, then you can go ahead and click save. And then the last and most important part of the whole move out is the charges and credit section. Here is where you will want to post charge for any maintenance done, for damages done by the tenant to the property or to the unit, and that you can enter them as follows. So in this case, Bill will damage the air the AC in the unit, so we're going to have an HVAC repair. And we're going to say it too much smoke. Now that we've entered all our charges and credits for our move out, now we can scroll down to this section of the move out, which is the summary. Here we'll see our charge that we just recently added, the amount of the security deposit, and then the net security deposit refund for our tenants. In this section as well, you are given the option if the tenants both made the payments towards the full security deposit balance, you can split it evenly between the tenants or select your split percentage or balance, or you can select to have one single payment go out on all tenants to all the tenants on one single paper check. Once you have distinguished which is applicable in your situation, you can go ahead and click the save and post accounting. Now that it has been saved and posted, now in our tenant status box here, we'll see we have a refund. In most cases where you have a security deposit bank and a rental trust bank account, you will see one more item here. It'll say either transfer funds between cash accounts or you will have a bill which is a transfer out of your security deposit bank and then a receipt which is a deposit into your rents trust account you will have to complete that physical transfer if they are two separate bank accounts and then you can come to this final step of the refund of the tenant where the funds will leave out of your rental trust account Once the check looks all good and all is right, you can hit finalize, continue, and then you can then print this check to send out to the tenant. From there, after the refund has been sent, you can also download their disposition letter, then upload it here into the, the files, and then share it with the tenant upon final move out. Once the move out accounting and everything has been posted, you will want to select and click this finish move out button to finalize it in full 
because otherwise if you leave it unchecked or unclicked you will have a move out living here for the rest of the time until that button is pressed so it's always important to make sure that once the move out is completed that you guys are hitting finish move out once we hit finish move out we then will see we can download their disposition and they will then read once the date comes as passed. In our example right now, because they are not moving on until August 31st, they will stay under the notice section. This has been how to move out tenants properly within the Appfolio system. Thank you for watching APM Academy brought to you by APM Help. If you have questions on the content, you can find us at apmhelp.com or reach us at info at apmhelp.com. Like, share, and subscribe for more.